Hey, Facebook fam. Here we go. This is your girl. Madam P. <laughs> your relationship coach. Right. Spilling the noon relationship talk tea. Yes, we're going to get right to it. Okay. Now, look, check this out. I just did a post. It says, ladies, please do not let a man sleep or lay or even come to your house without paying a bill. I know, I know I'm going to get so much backlash, but who gives a damn? You know, it's only right. Because <clears throat> if you should um, get in a meaningful relationship and um, you kind of digging the guy and he, you know, you digging him, he's digging you and you, you um, make sure that when you once you do get in the relationship, you have something to offer other than the penis or the vagina. You know, you can't. Just come to any relationship just empty-handed. Who does that? Who does that? Because everything costs. Everything costs. Everything has a price. So, when you go to the grocery store and you want to uh, just say a dozen of eggs, they're not free. So, you have a cake mix at home, but you need the eggs. So, you cannot make a cake without using eggs. So, once you use and put the eggs together, once you buy them with money, charitable money, you know, then you go home, stir it up, and mix it. So, therefore, you put it in the oven for like 30 minutes, and voila, you got a cake. Okay, fine. The cake mix needed the eggs to rise. So, therefore, they're telling you, if you have a woman or and if you have a man, they need each other. They need to come together and they need to bring something to the damn table. You cannot let any person that's involved be empty handed. Who does that? So, but oftentimes when we um have a guy and we so into them and we love them and we um you know, we won't don't know what want nobody to have them or they they're good looking, they're attractive. You know, it has to be something for you to um like the guy or the girl. It has to be something physical, whether it be the hair, you know, the smile, you know, the tits or the ass, or ladies in your case, the bald headness or the feet, you know, or his job. It has to be something. That will connect you to that person. You just don't go and say, yeah, I want him. I want that. I want that. No, who does that? Nobody does that. They have to have a, some kind of physical or um, mentally attraction to the opposite sex. That's just it. Oh, hell yeah. I'm spilling the tea today. You know, and once of all, once you figure out that they do have uh, good quality like the uh, the hair, the, the tits, the ass, or he has a feet or the job. Okay, now, whether you look at it or not, it's financial. What does he have to bring to the table financially? Because you, 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 who does that? You know, you do not have a man just sitting up in your house just because he give good dick. Or men, you don't. Have a woman in your house that gone through all your shit just because she has good pussy. Who does that? You know? Are you that blinded? You know? But yet, everything cost right. Either it was a it was an attraction with the hair, the feet, the dick, the, the pussy. It was an attraction. So that means it, it came at a price. So why are you gonna let the the guy that come over? Let, I'm just it to the ladies now. Okay, um, to the ladies, why would you let a fella come to your house with nothing? So, because, but in, in, in order for him to get there, you he had to know what you like. Like, if you like potato chips, if you like dip, if you like something to drink, 
He has to know these things before he gets to your house. Okay. So therefore, the real man, the real man will bring you some chips or he'll bring you some uh some crackers or some wine or some or some liquor, or some tequila. He will bring that automatically. That's if he's the real man. Man, I'm not bashing. I'm on your side too. Don't get this bullshit twisted. I got you. I got you. Okay. So therefore, you are not going to let a man come in your household, you know, just with nothing or just saying, oh, baby, you look so good there. You so fine, boy. Your smile. Oh, my God. You got a bomb ass smile. But you know he wants a pussy. You know that. You know that at the end of the day, he's going to want something. So knowing that, that he's want something, why would you just let him just come over just to sit on the couch and watch, you know, CNN? Who does that bullshit? So, but with your intention, invite him over. You're going to say, mm, hey, Roger, come on over to a sister house, you know, you know, but you want, as a lady, you want to be rubbed. You want to be told how fine you are. You want to be told, you know, how cute you are. But it, but if he make that move, and if he said good enough, hell, you're going to give up some ass. <laughs> hell, just simple as that. You're going to give up some ass. Yes, she is. And yeah, I said it. You're going to give it up. Because he told you everything that you wanted to hear. You don't want him coming over and y'all just staring at each other. You don't want that. So, you know, everything has its price. Now, men... I got you. I got you. Okay. So for the simple reason, when you see a nice young lady and you sit up here and you do know what she likes and you do, you know, uh, you, you were listening because that's all we want you to do is just listen. If you just listen, you good. You good. Damn it. You can have it damn it at the back door if you, if you just listen. But anyway, but check this out. So. Man, I know when a woman comes over your house, you want to say, oh, my God, she fine. I like that because, you know, I like wearing her wearing dresses. Them heels, shit. They me the fuck on. Oh, my God. You know, but in the end, you want something, too. So what if she come over and she ain't up in no ass? But then y'all going to watch Bugs Bunny? You going to watch, you know, The Wizard of Oz? And you okay with that? Hell to the no. You gonna want something. When she come over there looking good, smelling good. I say you're gonna get some ass tonight. But no, she say, nah, nah, no, 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 no. But your expectations were that once you invited Judy over, that you did tell her what you, you know, she wanted to hear, you were gonna get some ass, right? That part. Again, everything has a price so that's just go on my page patricia thick is in willis and you will see the post ladies do not have a man lying up in your damn house without paying the bill especially if you want to be in a committed relationship and he's still not putting out same with her you know i think that was walter walter to say it goes both ways i hear you walter it does it goes both ways Hell, if she got a job at McDonald's or, you know, taking tickets at the, at the concession stand, it helps. It helps. So, I'm going to let no one come over to your house at all. But you know, I'm not saying that you're materialistic and that you have to have it or whatever. This only applies. Well, hell, it applies to everybody. Because, the, like I said, the, the, uh, the conversation in the beginning should have led up to you should know what they want anyway. And yeah, I said it. So, so I'm like this. We talking T today, you know. If you want to chime in, if you have a quest for Matter P, you just go free head because, you know, I'm just going to tell it all. I just don't give a damn. <laughs> yes. But anyway, but that is so true. Excuse me. You know, you just don't do that. It works hand in hand, 50-50. You know, and none of that, you know, all this little bullshit and this bullshit and that. No, 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 no. 2020? Shit. Everybody got it, you know, contribute them to the pot. 
You know, make sure when you get a woman, men, when you get a woman, she can at least cook. At least she can cook grits or boil some rice because, you know, you can go to the, you know, Louisiana and, and get some of the sides, you know, and then mix with that bullshit. At least make, make sure she, she's worth something. You know, you don't want nobody that's just not just a dead weight and you cannot settle. <coughs> you need that. I got to drink to that. You cannot settle. You cannot settle. And this, is, this is all to it. Even even if you're in a relationship. I know if you're in a long-term relationship and, you know, times got hard and, you know, the jobs got low and that's when you should bind together. You don't want nobody, men, you don't want nobody ever, so just because you got a uh, job that's paying like maybe $15, a security guard, $15 an hour, whatever, and th then a woman decides, hell, she don't want to do nothing. God damn, she better do something, you know, at least she can keep the house clean, you know, at least that, you know, at, le you know, at least she can, you know, just, you know, get some instant something, you know, at least that, and women, Sometimes, sometimes that when you're in a career, a creative, you know, in a relationship and you're living together and times get hard for us too, and we want to keep our man. And sometimes we don't tell nobody that our man is not working. We don't tell them that we're the breadwinner. We don't tell them. But you know what? If you down with your dude, you know, cool, stick by him. But if he's worth it, if he's only worth it. So if he could take out the damn trash, if he can help vacuum and if he can, you know, just keep the yard clean, he's worthy of taking care of. That means he's a help mate, a help mate. And you don't mind your turn going out there busting your ass for him. You don't mind that. It goes both ways. Tit for tat. I'm not one sided. I see both damn, damn both sides of the damn, you know, equation. You know, and it get that way. But you don't want to bring nobody in. That refuse to work, that refuse to to not help. You know, to, what kind of bullshit is that? You know, I can I can bring a dog in. All I want him to do is be me there just to pet him. You know, I'd be lonely. That that's all he is good for. You know, and just shit all over the place. Somebody got to clean up that shit. You know, but what is the dog good for? Absolutely nothing. Say it again. Yeah. You know, nothing. Nothing. But next time that you get a mate, slow your damn roll. You don't need to be fucking every time you get them. I know the urge is there. I know you want to. I know you're physically attracted to them. But slow your ass down. Talk to him. See what he's all about. Because you know in these CV-19 these CV-19 days, you just don't know what the hell you're getting off into. So, get to know him because maybe he should be, he'll be bringing some, some bad um, uh, drama with the wife and baby daddies. And the baby daddies come out the damn corner and, you know, they just coming out of jail. You don't want that bullshit in your life. Sit down and talk. Find out what color he likes. You know, what kind of food he likes. What kind of sports he likes. Do he party? You know, do we go to church? Find out these things before you, you know, give them some ass. Just do it. Just do that. Because in the end, that's what you're going to pay for. It pays with ass. No, no, no other way. No other way. Ass. So, this is uh, Madam P. Just delivering just a little noontime tea, relationship tea. So, I'm giving a big uh, backyard uh, relationship of COVID-19 mask up uh, social gathering. If you like to come, I'll be stealing, be stealing some raw shit and some tea. You know, a lot of relationship games, you know, maybe you can get the hookup, you know, like that during these pandemic times, you know. But we're just going to come, we're going to eat, going to drink, have fun, you know, and who knows. You know, but first of all, we're going to be safe. So, if you like what you hear, share it, tell a friend, and I hope, you know, you find the love of your life. So, this is Madam P, spilling the noontime tea.
Be safe. And tune in next time for another sip of the cup.